Hey, hi there, Aries. Welcome to my channel. My name is Linda, and I'm thanking you for tuning in to those energies and influences that are coming through for your weekend reading, October 4th to the 6th of 2019. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a condensed general reading, so please only take those portions that resonate with you. Okay, Aries, to save time, I've done a protective blessing. I've meditated over and shuffled these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. This is absolutely a love reading. Aries, you've got the Ace of Cups. Water energy. This is the root to all the water. This is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or if there's a lot of water prominent in this chart, this is... A new beginning. It's a gift. A gift of love. It's the beginning of great joy and contentment and productiveness. There's fertility and beauty and pleasure. It's a reminder that when the mind is filled with the spirit, the spirit will fill the material cup to overflowing. This is a great joy or reward gained from a loving relationship. Or something new could be developing in a relationship. Or some form of good news is coming. It brings healing. This can represent love and marriage, motherhood, hood. It's the purest aspect of emotional energy. It's a new beginning, a new love or a one-on-one -on -one relationship of any kind. The birth of, the, of a child or an idea. It's a fertile time for creative growth, the consummation of something that you've hoped for. This is a need to pay attention to those subtle signs of synchronicity. Like the star, the Ace of Cups symbolizes the infinite supply of love available to, to all who become open receivers. There's a blessing here. Being peaceful, grateful, benevolent, joyous. It's giving or receiving love or blessings. Being connected to Source. Healing and cleansing. Your second card. This is the energy that's crossing over your path. Number two of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the High Priestess. This can be a Pisces or a Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This represents hidden knowledge. It's next to the Ace of Cups here. This can be a very deep psychic bond or link. It's hidden influences, secret knowledge. It's the link between the seen and the unseen. It's latent power to manifest and gestation before new life. It has to do with divine truth and wisdom and nurturing the spark of creation. This is the connection with the unconscious world, esoteric studies, unrevealed future, and hidden influences at work here. This card has special value for artists and poets and composers, mystics, when this card appears in a man's reading, it represents the perfect woman that all men dream of. And if this is you, it could be you, a quiet woman. This is honoring your inner being, its natural insight, secrets, mystery, silence, tenacity, the unknown. It's a time when it's better to sit still and seek peace within the self, seek awareness, be still and listen to your inner knowledge and answer your own question because you know. She holds to the Torah, the book of secret wisdom. There's something yet to be that's revealed or hidden or interior and it's preparing to come forth or you need to pay attention to your inner world of dreams and imagination and intuition. Remember those dreams that you remember really well those are messages. If it's a dream that you had that you still remember and you had it a long time ago, that is a message. Your third card. This is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. Here you are, Aries. Number one of the Major Arcana, the Magician. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This has to do with creative power intention and your will 
This is a masculine energy card. Its ruling planet is Mercury. This is someone that draws power from above to materialize their desires. That cosmic lemonscape, that sideways figure eight, is a symbol of eternal life and dominion, indicating the harmonious interaction of the conscious and the subconscious, idea and feeling, desire and emotion, as in the law of attraction, as above, so below, as within, so without. So remain conscious of your thoughts because you can make things happen. This is new opportunities and a time for action, its potential in abundance. So stay focused on your goals. This is a time for creation and beginning and taking on challenges. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. More combination meanings coming up here. The Nine of Swords, Aries. This is air energy and represents worry. There's worry over this love connection. This is unfounded anxiety. It's low energy and a need to be patient. You're feeling unworthy or overly fearful, worried about the future, perhaps overly sensitive to other people's opinions. This is preoccupation with a past experience. It's a mental torture. You'll need to make required changes for a better future. Steps should be taken to solve your problems. You are near the end of your mental ordeal. You'll need to speak up to solve these problems. Talk about it. Write in your journal. If it's health worries in you, see a doctor. This is a high stress card. You may be having feelings of guilt regarding a past transaction, transgression. Often the fear of difficulties is far worse than the reality. So put two and two together and look at contradictions around you and strengthen your resolve and your patience and try not to feel so down by the temporary blockages or difficulties. This is old goals that darken over, new ones lighten up. There's fresh mental pastures ahead. Maybe a relationship has taken peace of mind. This could be Someone that's lonely with regrets about a past relationship. Do not rush things. Just maintain faith and trust. The magician with the Nine of Swords, this could be misunderstandings that cause distress. The high priestess with the Nine of Swords, this is being prepared to face a certain truth. Could be fear and anxiety will wonder, only hinder you. The magician card with the nine of swords, that's those misunderstandings. And here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The two of cups, Aries. Love match. Water energy. This is a soulmate union. There's an attraction, a partnership. This is a strong relationship, especially the beginning of one. The magician card with the two of cups, this is being swept off your feet. It's making plans with a kindred soul. There's balance and emotional support and understanding, and you'll deal successfully with strong emotions. They're basic energies, important feelings, at times they can be in conflict with each other or complementary. So take note of your feelings and needs to make a decision and feel the joy in your soul when you're doing something for yourself or others. This is talking things over, letting go, a reconciliation. Remember that shared joy is twice as sweet and shared sorrow is only half as bad. This is a shared bond where wishes and fears are intertwined. Love and being loved can turn daily routine into a joyous celebration and raise ourselves onto a higher plane. This can be the resolution of quarrels and disputes. It's a commitment to meaningful exchange. Here's your advice from the Oracle deck. Ask your guides by Sonia Choquette. Aries, you've got card number 30, death. 
from their garden angel guides. Death. Devastation, surrender, defeat, and humiliation. As hard as this may be to admit, it's time to give up on your present efforts and walk away from a situation that has no more life in it. Whether it's a dead-end job or a relationship that has run its course, or a pattern of behavior in you that's no longer getting you what you want, recognize what isn't working anymore. There are times in life when things or circumstances come to a natural end, some of which may seem beyond your control. This is one of those times. Your guardian angels are surrounding you as the reality of this dead-end situation settles in. They comfort you at a time when it appears as though all is lost. Although you are not experiencing a physical death, your angels indicate that something indeed has died, that which has been harming your spirit. The good news is that the worst has already occurred, and it will not get any worse than this. And soon, a new day will dawn. As hard as it can be to admit, accept that defeat or the dead end, because the sooner you do, the sooner the real gifts you seek will be appearing from the right resources. This is not an easy time for you, but it will become easier if you let go. Your guardian angel's message, let go and let God take over and move on. Thanks, you guys, Aries. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up. And please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.